All right, guys, y'all see Joe is here. It's Monday. What a great day. Joe's still not got his tool truck back. But he's here, and he's got tools. So let's see what he's got. Let's do it. All right. All right, guys, how y'all doing today? Another great Monday. And I hope everybody took care of their wives and their moms because uh, Mother's Day was this last weekend. So to all you out there, happy Mother's Day to you again. Um, me, for my wife, I started Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. By Sunday, I had her pretty tired, <laughs> but it was a great weekend. So um, got to enjoy those. Well, there you go. Uh, make sure she enjoys them. So, got some couple of interesting things first. First bucket of cash. We got Mr. Mark Griffin. We got five. He's one of our famous, uh, one of our famous servicemen. Yep. I call him famous. I just know him. That makes him famous to me. <laughs> um, we got Mr. John Lasota for four. Okay. Now. I never talked to him about this, but John's got to be a dad. He's got patience. He puts up with me. If there was a way to screw up this order with him, and I did five, six different ways to Sunday, but uh, he kept saying, it's okay, Joe. It's like, so <laughs> he, he's got patience. He put up with me, and uh, I want to thank you, John. Um, well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, you and I screw up, it could still work. But that's thankfully, thankfully for all you out there. Now, I talked about this pen, which I thought everybody, I had a couple people say, yeah, it's a challenge pen, which it is. If it was a token pen, it wouldn't mean a whole lot, but right. it's a challenge pen, which I learned a whole lot this last week. So, um, I think I started with people, members of the service. And it'd be something like this, you know, you mean we've got that at the bar and I slap my challenge pin out there. I say, I challenge you to buy me a drink. Yeah. If you slap yours up there and it outranked me, I'd be buying you. Oh, and, okay. That's cool. And then, and then once they start, then everybody's got to put theirs in the pot. And I guess once they start, you can't refuse because the low man buys everybody. <laughs> so... Two high-ranking guys can be smart asses and start that up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, we need a drink free here, Clay. That's Let's it. go. <laughs> Boom. Pretty good idea. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've learned a lot about them. And so I want to take, thank Mr. Jason again for this. I Anybody and everybody that has one, they keep it with them all the time. I got a firefighter. I got another guy that's in the service. Um, he says, yeah, I got mine with me right here. That's pretty cool. So when you get them, you got them. And if you watch TV, you see somebody slap one down somewhere or another for something. But yeah. uh, it's That's prestige. Neat. It's, it is an honor. That's so, pretty cool. Um, I'm blessed that way. I got a couple of things. We just no. got emergency tire repair kit. Okay. I mean, it's got everything. And you just got the metal handles, not the plastic ones. Mm -hmm. um, That's a good thing because those plastic ones will break. Yeah. But uh, I just have this. It's just a kit. Somebody, now and then they have them, and they just need to replace all the stuff in it. I got these cameras back, the Wi Fi oh, yeah. to your phone, three millimeter, three millimeter. Mm -hmm. um, there is a Ford, imagine that, has a transmission thing, and it calls for a one and a half to, I think, five millimeter probe probe to uh, go into it for checking on a transmission recall. Mm -hmm. So my Ford dealer says, yeah, I'll take one of them for you. That's cool. I got the... Uh, Sorry about that, guys. My mailman had brought a package, so we was yep. trying to not we, let him interrupt Joe. We paused. Uh, good guy. He saw what's going on. A, a clamp power probe uh, clamp probe set. I want to say power probe, but it's from 2 aid So you clamp it on 
where you're working, you hook up your multimeter to it, and then you can put the probe on on what you're testing, and you can have your hands free for mm -hmm. going through your multimeter. That's it just neat. gives you hands free. You got positive and negative. Um, it's sixty bucks. There you go. Let's find it in here. We ask and kind of see the pictures of some of their examples that they're using there. That's a pretty neat little kit right there. It's always a pain to oh, try to we, hold. Here we go. This oh, back yeah. side's even better. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. So it's always a pain to try to hold everything when you're working on stuff. Try to do a multimeter while you're... Yep. That's pretty good right there. I like so, that. And then these here are spring-loaded. So when you get the clamp, you put it on there, you pull it back, and you set it. It puts tension on there, so it will make contact. Sweet. We got... Yep. That's a three-quarter Milwaukee gun. Mm -hmm. They have the uh, one key for selecting the powers for if you got a certain torque you need. It finds it for you. If somebody decides they think they should have it better than you do. Mm -hmm. They have a deterrent system. Yeah. I've seen it work, too. But that's another story. Tell about another story. See this? I keep... I keep telling you, Elvis lives. <laughs> so, he's got the hair. Seriously, he does. He owns a garage like Elvis does. He's got a band set up because he plays guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't talk about the parties they have because, you know, you've seen the movies. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, great guy. He... he he stole me with this this week, last week, and I said, I said, hell yeah, I'm wearing this on the show. I, you know, he just smiles. and That's pretty good. So, uh, and he's a great guy, great mechanic. He's come over from Germany, but there's something wrong with that. I think he was born in Tennessee, but <laughs> we're, we're, we're conflicted on that one part. But anyways, great mechanic, great shop. His shop has gotten very well known in the little town of Savannah, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, now, I'm saving the best for last right here. Oh, wait. Did I talk about these? Nope. Mayhew. Sure. We're getting to the best for last. Made in USA. They got the striker caps on them. Um, you put a wrench on the, on the bigger ones. Give you a little bit more torque. Uh, hardened tips. Uh, they're magnetic. They just work. So, it uh, comes with five Phillips and five pry bars. Yep. All right. Yep. Five and five. You got the stubbies. So, there you go. Okay, best for last, right here. Here's a VIM part number. EDM 400A. Okay. okay. Whoa. Extra deep, extra long, quarter inch drive. Yep. We are 7 millimeter to 15. And they're cut deep, too, in there. So, somebody goes and puts one or two nuts on something to lock it down. Yep. Am I doing that? Yep, you got it. Okay. And they got the nice braille writing on here, and it's stamped as well. Mm -hmm. Nice foam case. You take it out of the box, stick the foam in your two box. You know where each one is. Yep. And they are long. They are nice. They are nice. These are 130. Okay. But at their... That there's a bad boy set right there. Yep. So what's the scoop on the truck? Oh, the scoop on the truck is... Um, Must be bad. Let me see. So far, it's what? I, I forget. I lose count. Seven, eight weeks. Ford still hasn't decided to replace my motor yet. Mm. And that's these uh, snapper heads up here in Detroit. So... Wow. And they're in the... The warranty that stops anything and everything being done. So that sucks. Really everybody's bad. everybody's offering me lawyers and you know, ask me if I'm going to want to go have a burn party in front of De you know Ford Motor Company in Detroit with TV cameras. I like that thought. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening yet. If I was you, I'd go buy a new tool truck. When they finally fix that one, I'd sell that thing. Yeah, you know what I told Get you about that it. too. I'd get rid of that POS. Um, so anyways. You got more patience than I do, Joe. 
Uh, it's, they're thin. But anyways, I'm here talking to you guys, you all about this here, because I can't talk about that. It's We'll get censored, get you kicked off, get me kicked off. Oh. But uh, anything you need, just give me a call or text. And sometimes I'll see something later because you text, somebody texts me about something else. So yeah. um, I, I keep them, but there's... I don't even know what the count is on them. They're a lot. <laughs> so thank you very much. I appreciate it. Anything I do for you, just let me know. Have a great week ahead. There you go, guys. If you need anything from Joe, his number's right down here at 731-412-7295. Shoot him a text. He'll get back with you. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us on this Monday. It's done. Monday is over. Hit that thumbs up if you liked the video. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger. That's Joe's phone. It's not wolves. <laughs> Click that button. It's Got free. Have a great one. See ya.